Hey everybody, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey and in this video I've got a really cool iPad app that I want to show you guys. I've been messing around with a little bit this week and uh, it's called Hockey Plus Minus. Now if you're anything like me, you like to uh, take a look at your team's stats over the course of the season and um, Plus Minus is I think a really good indication of you know how a player is, is producing and contributing to the team's success or failure. Uh, plus Minus can be a little bit of a pain in the butt to keep track of and then uh, usually if you do it like I've been doing, you enter it all in manually you know, on a notepad or something during the game and then you got to go home and filter back into a spreadsheet after the fact. So this app makes it really easy to keep track of plus minus from game to game over the course of a whole season. So let's go ahead, we'll take a look at the app. Basically you'll see um, the app is pretty straightforward. They're still making, I think the app is fairly new in the app store. So they're still making adjustments and updates and stuff. And I'll point out a few things that I liked and a few things that I think they could do to improve the product. But basically the first thing you're going to start with is the team's page as soon as you open up the app and uh, what you want to do is enter in your team's name so you just click the plus button that pulls up a little thing add your team's name um, we can just go like this test just to kind of show you what's going on you hit save now you'll see you know you've got your team in there now if you coach multiple teams then um, you know you can make you know you can make multiple teams however many teams you need to do um, if you actually made a mistake it's easy to delete just swipe across you can delete it. Obviously, I coach BYU's team, so we're going to have, uh, we've already got their roster set up. So basically, you're going to go enter your team, and then um, once you're there, you can click roster down at the bottom. Now, with the roster, you, you can, uh, you know, obviously, you click the plus button, you'll add players. So you'll add the player's name, um, put whether they're forward or defense. Now, if they're forward, you can see you've got options for line one, two, three, or four. Um, if they're a defenseman, it doesn't give you that option. So you'll put the, t the uh, player's number, their name, and then what line they're on. And then uh, once you've saved that and got your whole roster in, it'll look something like this. So you can see it sorts them all by the numbers. And uh, from there, then you just go in and, uh, you know, anytime. So now that you're in your team's slot, you can see I've tested this out on one game so far. You'll just hit the plus button anytime you want to add a new game. So you click in who's your opponent going to be. Um, you know, we can just do this again, test what day the game is going to be. So assuming you're doing it on the, the current date and you'll just click save again. Okay. Now you've got a game. Okay. So let's go ahead, open up the game. And then this is what you keep open, um, on your iPad throughout the game. And I, I personally, I brought this out to the bench with me and it worked really well. So anytime a game, anytime a goal goes in, um, basically you say who was on the ice. So let's just say your first line was on the ice. Okay. Just click those guys. It's, it's really straightforward. Uh, put the two defensemen that we're on then you click down at the bottom you've got either goals for or goal against so you click which one it was so let's just say it was a goal for then you've got even strength power play or shorthanded okay so basically you do that um, let's just say it was an even strength goal um, goal for even strength goal you hit save it asks you if you want to are you sure that you want to add that even strength goal you can make sure you got the right players click OK and then that saved it for you and so then, you know, you keep this open anytime a goal for or against goes in and you log it in. Now, um, once you're done, you can pull up a report. So let's just go with this. We'll go reports. Okay. Now you can see down here, I can pull up either the seasons totals. That's if I just want to click any one of these. Okay. Or if I want to just go ahead and take a look at that games totals, you go like this. So you can see those are my five guys that I had on the ice for that test goal. Um, and it gives them all a plus one. Now, if you were to do this and you had, you know, maybe they were a minus, it would show a minus one. So um, then once you get to that point, you can either print this off or you can click email and it automatically pulls up an email. And uh, so you can send off, shoot off an email to your team on, uh, you know, what everybody's stats were and it shows it up real, real easy, real, real simple, real easy. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. And you can keep track of this over the course of the entire season. So uh, the one thing I don't really like about this is, in, in, if there is a way, I haven't figured it out, but you can't go ahead and and uh, search it by goal. So like, for example, if I made a mistake on who I entered and I realized that after the game, I can't go back in and edit a goal. And uh, the other thing I don't like is that you can't really look at, you know, what the score was. So I would like to take a look and say, okay, so, you know, we were, you know, we won four to two. Um, and you know that that's the score and then here's how it breaks down. I would like a little bit more um, You know a little bit more options on what I can do there 
But all in all, really simple, really slick, and I like it because you're not taking your eyes away from the game for very long to record that. In fact, it's a lot quicker to record it this way than it is to write it down on a piece of paper like, uh, like I had been doing it in the past. So again, that's called Hockey Plus Minus. Go ahead, click the link in the description if uh, you're interested in checking this out on the, on the App Store.